Hi everyone, it's Nicole and I'm here to share with you some new embellishments that are going to be available in my shop. These again are digital. You print them with your printer or bring them to your local print shop, print them off and then you can print them over and over again. And the best thing is there's no shipping and you get the files right away. But I want to show you a couple of things. I have these here um, just until I... I have them all cut out and then put them separately in this container like I showed the last time I have these uh, se separated by color for labels and viewfinders until I can get them into here there I had a lot of papers and every time I was looking for a specific viewfinder it was difficult for me to find so I got these. This actually came in a variety pack, but you can buy them separately. They're called, um, what is it? They are called Three Paper Files. That's what those are called. And it's perfect to store papers in them. And I had bought two of those and it comes, you know, with the big one to store your 12 by 12. And then you can have another one per collection. And then you have these paper files. So I, there was three in this. So I got two of these storage studios. And I got this on Amazon. And I'll have it linked in the description box below under Amazon. And uh, or where some of my favorite tools are. That's the link. And then under scrapbooking. And you'll be able to find those. Then what I did was I... There was little labels, and I, in this case, I put one and one and a half viewfinders, and I have the one and a half on this side, and then I have the one inch on this side. So they're basically back to back. So then I can easily, you know, if I want the one and a half or if I want the one inch. So now everything's all separated until I can punch them out. Now I had quite a bit of two inch viewfinders. So for now, I was kind of out of different embellishments anyway. Eventually, I'll put another one on the back side too. But for now, there's that. And I like that the uh, tab is at different places so that, you know, it's easier to find them. So what I'm going to do is on my shelf, I'm going to put this sideways like this. And then as it's sitting on my shelf, I can just look and say, oh, well, I'm making a mess here. <laughs> Basically like, oh, okay, I want the one inch viewfinders. I can just pull this off. So the first thing I want to do is just to show you everything, the different embellishments that we have in the shop because it's starting to have quite a bit. So we have the, I'm just going to take a sheet of each out. We have the one and a half inch viewfinders. We have in all different colors. We have the one inch viewfinders. Then we have the two inch viewfinders. So those kind of go together. I like to say that these are sort of my embellishment foundation. Then you have the embellishment finishers. Then we have the COVID-19 embellishments. Then these are some of the new ones that are in the shop. I only printed the one inch, um, but in the one color, the Cozy Cafe, but it comes in all the different colors. I just need to go get more paper. I ran out of paper again. Then we have the two inch circle, again, in all the different colors. So you have it in the cozy cafe color in the apples and oranges and then you have it in the pastels and the season spices and the radiant rainbow and then every single color also so you have light gray dark gray you have the turquoise you have the bright orange the just regular orange the darker orange the peach and then we have the one and a half inch. And then we have the one inch. And that's going to come in all the different colors also. So this is the new one of the new embellishments added to uh, our collection. 
So that's the one, two one and a half and one inch circle. So what, again, what I'm gonna, what I did was I put the two inch circle to face one way, and the two and a half, the one and a half circle to face the other way. And then that way, everything is nice and neat until I'm ready to cut them up because I found it was getting a little busy, <laughs> a little too much stuff. So again, these were released last week. So we have two different shapes of the smaller embellishments or the smaller labels, sorry, smaller labels. So we have small labels one and small label two. So again, it comes in all the different colors, the assorted packs, and then the single colors. So you have labels one and two, and again, they're back to back so that it's easier for me to find them. And then the next one we have is just the regular labels. These are the first labels that we had available. So again, it comes in all the assorted and the single colors. And then the last thing that's new this week, we have these journaling labels. And again, they come in all the different colors. And then also in the assorted packs. And I really like that there's two lines for journaling. We kept the lines in the center here all consistent with all the labels. A light gray, so it goes with all the different colors. Now, one more thing. I, I've had some questions. I have some people, you know, that are seasoned scrapbookers, so they scrapbook all the time. So this is, you know, nothing new to them. But some people, they're new scrapbookers, and they're just wondering, how can I punch these out and make sure that I punch out the circle and I'm not off? Because, you know, if you have the punch like this, and you're trying to punch that circle, it's going to be really difficult to punch correctly. So every punch, what you can do, this is the one and a half. Like for all of these, what I need is a two inch punch. That will be for that one. The one and a half inch punch is for this one. And then the one inch punch is for this one. Now, I'm not sure which brand this is. But I just got it on Amazon. These two are EK Success punches, but you can, or actually, this is an EK Success and this is a Stampin' Up. But it's the same principle for everything. Just take your punch, turn it upside down. I mean, if you're just punching, you know, in the center of a pattern paper and you're not worried about where it punches, then you can just use it the way that it's intended to be used. But if you want to fit a certain pattern, you just flip it upside down like this, line it up until it's perfect, and then punch it out. Same thing. And then just punch it out. And then you get to punch it perfectly. Another thing, you know, because this is printed on white cardstock, so you got the color and then you have some white paper because it's printed on white. Well, don't forget, you can always use your distress inks and just find one that is close to the color. And then I wouldn't add too, too much color, but just add a little bit of color. And then that way it gets rid of the white edge on the pattern on the paper. And I like doing that anyway because it kind of makes everything fit all together. And if you're going to do directly ink pad to the paper, it's going to be harsher than if you take a tool, add a sponge, and then add a little bit of color to the edge. And then what I would do is, you know, whenever I found a color that was perfect with for a specific color, I would just 
write it down somewhere, you know, that festive berries was perfect for the red. And then that way, every time you use it, but I mean, it's not that difficult. You can just, every time you can just look for a color that's close to the color that you're using, and then you can just ink the edges. So that's it. And I just want to remind you tomorrow, I'm going to be doing a live on YouTube. It's going to be at 11 Atlantic daytime, um, Atlantic daytime. And if you want to know what time that is in your area, so let's say right now, for me right now, it's 1217. So if you put what time is, what time, uh, or show me Atlantic daytime, and it'll show you that it's 1217, then look at the time that you are right now. And if it's 417 in the afternoons, then you'll know that for you tomorrow, I'll be you know, 11 o'clock, it'll be three o'clock for you. You just add four hours. Because I had some questions about that too. So I thought I would mention that here. So in the link, in the description box below, there's a link to the store. There's all these embellishments that are available right now and more to come very shortly. So I want to thank you so much for watching. Bye.